Question number C says, 3C says, the function g is given by g of x is equal to the area under the curve from negative 1 to x of f of x, or f of t. So that means that g prime of x must be the derivative of that integral, which then is going to be f of x. So we want to find the only places where we can have minimums and maximums are going to be at the endpoints, which I've marked in red here, and at the zeros. So we have zeros occurring at, so g prime of x, g prime of negative 1 is equal to 0. And we also have g prime at positive 1 half is equal to 0. So we need to consider those. However, if we do a slope chart here, we can actually eliminate the one of these. So this is our g prime of x, which is equal to f of x. And we know that at negative 1 and positive 1 half, we have our zeros. And if we take a look at our slope charts here, from on the right-hand side of, or sorry, left-hand side of negative 1, we know that the y-coordinates are positive. That means the slope of the function is positive in this region here. Okay, between negative 1 and negative and positive 1 half, we are below the x-axis, so we know we're sloping down here. That's a zero slope. And for the rest of the curve, we know that we are above the x-axis, which means that everything here represents a positive slope. So it looks like this. So we can, we can eliminate the 1 half as a potential maximum because that is a minimum, local minimum there. So then we have to consider our candidate's test here. And we need to consider our endpoint at negative 2, our local max at negative 1, and our endpoint at positive, uh, in this case here, it looks like positive 5. OK. So if we take a look at the defined g of g of negative 2 is going to be equal to the area from negative 2 to 2. Well, that area is going to be 0. We know that g of negative 1 is going to be the area from negative 2 to negative 1 under that function. And if we take a look at that area, we know that area works out to be positive 1 half from negative 2 to 1. So we have positive 1 half. And then for the end point, okay, for g of 5 is going to be the area from negative 2 to positive 5 of f of t dt. And we've already worked that out. That area we worked out to be uh, from negative 2 to positive 5. We worked that area out to be, it looked like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was 11 minus 9 pi over 4. Okay, and so this is our maximum value here. We know that it's increasing all the way to this max value at x equals 5. So the maximum value is 11 minus 9 pi over 4.